Traditional healers have always played an important role in South African culture and are still used despite the prevalence of Western medication. Their reliance on the land has led to questions of sustainability. At this year's Science Festival, the impact of commercialization on the sustainability of medicinal plants was discussed. Dr. Nkwanda Makunga explains the growth of this commercialization in the last 20 years. During the apartheid years, it was actually illegal to practice traditional medicine. It was outlawed. And then since the new dispensation, people have been allowed to practice. And so these uh, economies that are built in plants have, have been growing and growing and growing since then. Traditional healers are highly dependent on the spiritual process of finding these plants. Commercialization has resulted in the fencing off of previously accessible areas where only specific plants grow. It is becoming more and more difficult for traditional healers to find naturally grown medicinal plants. Traditional healers, they're relying on the ancestors to inform them of where to go and get the right medicine. It's a different relationship. <laughs> Commercialization has impacted the system all the way down to its roots. Gatherers are pressured to collect as many plants as they can. Traditional healers don't utilize actually a lot of material. It's the ones feeding the, the urban markets. And they are the ones who, if they leave anything, then they're leaving it for somebody else. Although there are many negative impacts of commercialization, Dr. Makunga argues how easily traditional medicine can become commercially viable. It really is quite a treasure that we have a very deep understanding of how plants have been used by man for so very long. And this has been carried through in oral histories throughout generations. And then we also have the 